this is on the Gemini 11-14. So this is the beginning stages of the toe design we're going to be working on this week. And I kind of messed my toe up a little bit, but I'll try to straighten it out later. Um, I think the design will go over it, so you won't be able to see it. So I decided to do a toe design on white, uh, on a white background today. And I painted my nails, as you can see, uh, white all over. The next thing I'll be using is acrylic paints, and I have quite a few different colors in it um, that I'm using. I, I have like a brown, a green, neon green, uh, like a hot pink, and I think that's it, and a little bit of black. So pretty much the rest of the design I'll be using paints to do it with. And I'm going to water the paints down really, really, really watery and thin to do this nail design. dry completely. basically it for the toe design please stay tuned for the nail design next this is the nail design we're going to be working on this week and the first thing I did was I painted my nails white all over and the nail polish I use is by 
Broadway Nails. And it's just pretty much just a regular white nail polish. Um, the name of it is Snow White. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's really tiny. That's the name of it. And I applied two coats of this over my entire nail. The next part of the design, I will be pretty much um, hand painting. And I'll be using acrylic paints to do that with. Uh, the colors that I'll be using, it's quite a few different colors. Um, I'll be using this like dark fuchsia. Green. Brown. Lime green. And a little bit of turquoise. And also I'll be using black. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this leopard pattern that you see. And it has like somewhat like a rainbow effect in the background of it. And I pretty much um, did it in different areas of my nail. On this, my ring finger, I'll be adding a flower on my nail as well, just like I did here. And then I'll be placing the rhinestone in the center of it. Uh, the way that I did it, I just, like I said, alternated the way I did it. Um, I did it up the side on this finger. On this finger, I'm going to do it just like this one, but it's going to be on the opposite side. So it's going on this side, on this nail. So on this nail, I'll be doing it up on this side. This nail I just did it in the center and around the top area of my nail and my thumb you can see that I did it on the sides and I did like a little center leopard print also. Uh, both hands would be just pretty much just alike. So I'm going to show you how I did the background on my nail. Now to do this, um, like I said I'm using acrylic paints to do it and I watered the paints down. I'm going to be watering the paints down really extremely thin to do this with. Um, that's the only way that I was able to get the paint to blend in and kind of look like water marble. So I'm going to zoom in while I do it so you can see, get a better view of what I'm actually doing. Like I said, the paint is really thin. I'm, I'm watering the paint down as I do it. So I have, like I said, I watered the paint down a lot, and I'm watering it down so much too. Um, you can see pretty much how it pulls up on my nail, and it kind of creates the design pretty much on its own. So I'm gonna let it dry, the first uh, layer dry, and then after that I'll just be adding the other colors into it, and I'll be thinning all of the paint down as I go.
basically it for this nail and toe design. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.